Hey everyone, welcome back to Morning Guides. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining you all the basics that you need to know about how you can edit your audio in DaVinci Resolve. I am also uploading consistently every week, so if you want to follow me up, make sure to click that subscribe button. And when I got this out of the way, let's begin with the tutorial. Ok so after the preview let's see what we have in the project. The video is very straightforward and when it comes to the audio first we have a wave sound. Then we have uplifting song which is a happy song. I'm using it just for a background. And lastly I have an effect song crash or slap which I'm using to power up the transition effect. And now after hearing that preview, we notice that we have few problems with it, which are upper fades, lack of flow and the levels. And before I begin fixing that, I just wanna say that the audio files can also be manipulated the same way as the video files. We can drag them around and also use a razor cut and things like that. So I'm gonna start out by fading the audio and just like in the video fading by dragging the handles, for a video file it will fade out the image and this will work almost the same way for the audio file. In our case if we try to fade out the audio file it will just decrease the level of volume. You just need to pull it the same way as you're doing for the video. And you can go a little bit further with that. For this basic tutorial I'm just gonna add that you can drag the middle part of it which will make the straight line curved and the volume decrease will go even smoother. So that is the first thing that I'm gonna fix about this preview. I'm gonna add a curved fading sound most of the effects. And now when I select some of the audio files that I have I will go to inspector to see what options we are having there. And when we take a look, we can see that we have some different options that we used to see when we're editing a video. And also some similar things such as creating a keyframes. We can do that for audio files as well. So firstly on the top side of the inspector we are seeing a volume. It is very straightforward, we can increase and decrease the volume of that. We can also do that by going to the timeline, grabbing the audio levels and pulling them up or down. So the second thing we are seeing in the inspector is called a pan and what pan is doing is that it's manipulating the output sound and as you see it right now it is standing in the middle that means the viewer is gonna hear the sound both equally from the left and right ear and for example if you move it all the way to the left the viewer is gonna receive a sound only on his left side of his headphones so now just for example I created a keyframe starting from the left side to the right and now I will play it so you can hear what I mean. And the next thing that we have on the inspector is a pitch, which is used in the musical applications, so we are not gonna use it right now. And the equalizer, which we have here in a simplified version. For example, we have the beginning waves right here crashing out into the background song. So we can use the equalizer to influence one of the frequency regions by itself. We can turn on and off our bands right here and we can also change their shape or function, also their frequency and how much we're going up or down. And actually you can do a lot more things with equalizer so if you want some advanced tutorial let me know in the comments and if I see some interest I'll make a video about it. Now I'm just gonna use a low cut or a high pass filter. So I'm gonna high it to approximately 100 high pass let's say. So now you can hear the waves without and now with the EQ change that we just did. It is subtle but let's play it with the song. And now the song is not so obscured by the wave sound, but still our elements don't have kind of the same loudness. And for that we're gonna move to the Fairlight tab. And now this looks a bit more complicated in some terms, but let's go with the basics. First we have our meters right here. If we're having a lot of channels we have a lot of room for that. 
We also have a video preview window right here on the top right side, which you can increase the size or move it to the other screen if you have. You can move that screen to other places by clicking this icon. So one of the difference between the Fairlight tab and the Edit tab when you're working with the audio is that in the Edit tab you need to apply changes individually to every single one of them and th these changes are limited. But in the Fairlight tab, not only that you have more effects to apply, you can apply them to all of the audio files that are on the same track. So for example, in the Edit tab we did some changes on the first wave. If we would have do it in the Fairlight tab here, we would have applied the same changes on both of them. So now let's go to the right and see what we have in the channel mixer and what it does. So first we have our fader. And what is important to mention is like unlike the edit page, for example here if you take your volume in the edit tab, the waveform will change. But in the Fairlight tab if you increase or decrease the fade level while it is applied on the whole track, the waveform is not gonna change. And this is something important to notice. Also on your right side you have your meter, on the top side you have record, solo and mute. You also have here your buses and your groups, which we can talk about that later. You also have something really important which is the dynamics, so I'll open it to take a look. Firstly you have your diagnostic panel with input output. You have expander and gate, which both influences the dynamics gates cuts off. The expander expands your dynamic range. And you also have the compressor which is the most useful thing here. It basically compresses your dynamic range by making quieter sounds louder and louder sounds quieter. And we can also use it to sidechain with these two buttons. For example if you have a voiceover and a music track and when you're doing that voiceover you can make that background go quieter when you're speaking. And you also have your limiter right here which it limits your output sound. And now here we also have a EQ which is a bit more fancier than the edit tab. And one of the most important thing here is that we have these effects. And DaVinci Resolve has a lot of built-in effects. You have a different kinds of processors, you have reverbs, you have different kinds of modulation, imaging like stereo and stuff like that. You also have the noise reduction which is really useful, the de-easer, de-hammer and the noise reduction. So now I'm gonna play the parts with the cracking effect. And you're gonna notice that on the audio levels we're gonna go into the red, which is very bad. So to fix that I'm gonna take the third audio track. And now I'm gonna go to the third audio track and I'm gonna bring it down to minus 9 dB. So let's see how it's performing right now. It is still a bit loud, so I'm gonna lower it a little bit more and let's hear it one more time. And now the effect is fine and I'm gonna increase just a little bit the background sound, which is on the audio track number 2. And now let's see the whole thing completed. And that was everything for the basic audio editing tutorial. If you want more advanced, I can make another one. I guess if that video reaches 50 likes, I'm gonna make advanced audio editing tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything and see you in the next video.